As Australia try and build something here. Again, he skips in in that familiar fashion of his. Beal stands as first receiver, therefore Foley in midfield. Good hands along the line out from Karevi to Kurandrani. And Corobetti is after this, and this could be a terrific try. It's Hooper who slides in to score it. It is a terrific try. I just want to make sure that at seven, before the kick wasn't offside, putting him in offside position. Yeah. But if he was fine, we can award the try. So we're just looking for offside by seven goal, please. Just... No try, offside. Hughes again. England trying to use their power here. Free play. Another penalty. We've had tackling the lifter, collapsing them all. Two offsides, the last two offsides against you. What? It's ten minutes. Lack of hearing there from the Australian captain. Rob Shaw did so well to be the first to arrive, but then he's got straight back on the horse along with Atoje and then Joseph gets it wide to May there's no time to dwell on that and almost an interception from Beal but that's deemed to be deliberate no great attempt to catch it although Beal will argue that he had every incentive to catch it that's two men at the same time in the Simbi Hooper joined by Beal There's Big Simmons, and Australia start to throw everything in England, but England turn it over, and Young's clears. Launsbury was right in there. The chase from England, Farrell all fired up, but Karevi, whoa, oh, Karevi, look at him go! He's still going, who's going to tackle him? Karevi gets it onto Curran Durrani, and he drops it. And now England might go from here, Ford, Young's. And the ball is staying in. Daly! Joseph after it. But Daly's going to get there first. Oh my goodness, what a try! Everybody seemed to stop for the ball, but Elliot Daly didn't. Harris van der Vesthuis and the assistant waved it on in real time. Oh. And this is why we pay the TMO big bucks. It's not clear that's out. We reviewed it, so we're going to stick with the try. Foley, where is it going? Oh, it's going to Corobetti, and Corobetti starts to show his power running onto Foley. That is brilliant. One more pass would have done it. It still might because. Getty is there quickly, and here comes Corobetti again. Was that obstruction England claiming it was? Is the ball down? Questions for the referee again. He's held him up there, but hang on. Hang on. That's surely a try there. No. Potential obstructor running into his own man as well. Danny Kerr now on at scrum half for England and there's space in behind here and Jonathan Joseph might be able to get on the end of this kick he rolls on, he might slide on! Simmons gets the call and he does go to find Kerr, it's another chip it's meant for Johnny May, Foley's trying to get across Johnny May, still Johnny May! That is... A treat of a try for Twickenham right at the end. Eddie Jones has it over Australia since taking over Australia's last win against England. On this ground is a big one of the World Cup, but here's Johnny May again. And there he returns the compliment to Danny Kerr. As England put another log on the autumn fire. Farrell's conversion is wide, but no matter for England. Their highest score against Australia a year ago at home. Now they have their biggest home 
or away margin of victory against Australia.